Hmm, now I don't need my supervision to know that something is strange about this town. Hey, you two fellas, why are you two sitting on the road? And what's it building this? Wait, you're Lord Zed. You're a villain. Take this. Now you're next. Now wait, I've been robbed. We're the innocent ones. I know you, you're Golda. You're a big villain. I bet. Hmm. I bet you're no more innocent than a sack full of piranhas. Now look, our Marvel Ushis were stolen. Me and Lord Zed put our money together and properly bought a seven pack of the Series 3 Ushis. And we're heading home, and then those Power Rangers turned up and stole them from us. Hey, uh, do you mind if you stop farting for one moment? It's hard to concentrate on what you're saying. Sorry, I fart when I'm nervous. Anyway, I believe you. Now I've got to track down those Power Rangers. Then once I do, I'll find out why they took your Ushis, and I'll bring them back to you. Thank you, that's great. Well, you won't have to look far. There's two of them right there. Now, Black Power Ranger, you look like the child of a dinosaur in a sock puppet. I don't know what you're wearing. However, tell me why you stole these Ushis from that poor Goldar, and when are you going to return them? I am the Black Power Ranger, and by the power of the mystical Triceratops, I will not tell you where those Ushis have gone, or why I took them from the evil Goldar. Eh, uh, Superman, sir? Eh, uh, Superman? Yes, citizen. What do you want? I am a knight! And I was across the road, and I saw what happened. I think the Power Rangers thought Golda stole those Ushis. So they took them, but there's still four of them just over there. Oh, your face! It's hideous! Oh, but thank you. Really, really, really ugly man. I hope you make it home without someone throwing rocks at you, because you're so ugly. Don't you understand? He's a villain. He must have been stealing those Ushis. I've heard enough from you. Now be gone. <gasps> Now, there's only three Ushis here. Now, look up there. The limited edition one now comes in a box. So the hidden Ushis no longer come in foil bags? Nope, they come in these neat little boxes what click together to display all your Ushis in. Amazing. Yes, that's why me and Lord Zed wanted to buy them. Well, that's great. Now let's open these up. Okay, now I'm about to open up these eggs, but before I do, I might need some help working out who is each character. So I'll put that there where we can see it. Now, let's see who's gonna be in this first egg. It is, come back. It looks like, let's check it out there. Hologram Mrs. Marvel, awesome. Now here we have the holographic Miss Marvel. Now there was a few different Miss Marvels, but this was based on the first one, which is a lady called Carol Danvers. And she was a fighter pilot and she got caught up in an explosion with another alien superhero and what happened is once the superhero had gone or died or whatever happened to him she found that she had his powers now her powers include the ability to have superhuman strength like superman can fly insanely fast like superman um, and can shoot energy from her fingers um, and one cool thing what she can do what Superman can't is that she absorbs energy to make herself more powerful So if someone like dropped an atomic bomb on her Then she could soak up all the energy of that bomb and it would make her many 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 times stronger Now I'll quickly mention her appearance so she's got super short blonde hair which looks really cool um, And her costume is usually the same color as Superman's like with the red the yellow and the blue um, and the reason I say usually is because it's like holographic blue, it doesn't quite look the same shades. But I know when seeing her in cartoons and stuff, I always confused her with Supergirl because she's got the similar color scheme. Okay, now I'll put them there for now. Now, who's going to be in this next one? So, we've got... It looks like an Iron Man. Oh no, it's a Spider-Man. It is... Let's check it out. An Iron Man model 4. Could be Toxin. You may see him. Oh, there he is, Iron Spider. We got Iron Spider. Awesome. Now, next up, we have the Iron Spider. Now, this Spider Man suit was created by Tony Stark uh, during the Civil War when Spider Man ended up taking Iron Man's side in the war. Uh, and what the suit does, it's very similar to Iron Man's own suit where it can fly, it's got a billion gadgets built into it, um, it allows uh, Spider Man to glide, and he's got like lots of little. Um, 
remote control spies is what can come out of it like in the in the movie the recent movie um, but it's very cool and it makes spider-man way 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 stronger just like iron man now talking about his appearance as you can see he's obviously been influenced by iron man because he's got the same red and yellow color as Spi iron man um, and the spider-man symbol is a little bit different too uh, it looks cool now i got a little bit excited with starting to open these but I just remember this is our first one of the Marvel Series 3 Ushis and we should be looking to see who's available to be found before we start randomly opening it up because that's kind of cool to see who could be around now a lot of these Marvel guys are kind of foreign to me because when I grew up back when I was a child before TV and cars and electricity and trees um, I only watched Batman and Robin uh, maybe a little bit of Superman maybe a little bit of Spider-Man uh, but most of these Marvel guys I don't know. So it's going to be fun learning about more of these guys like uh, Crossbones, I've never seen him before. Or Iron Monger, he's clearly a bad guy but who knows how. Uh, classic Moon Knight, don't know about that fellow. Uh, now those are the common ones and then there's the rare guys and then limited edition guys. So we'll just quickly flick through the guys who stand out. So Hulkbuster, he looks awesome. Uh, Lockjaw, I don't know who he is but he also looks amazing. Uh, there's Luke Cage. Pepper Potts has her own Iron Man suit, which is cool. Uh, Howard the Dark, I've seen him in cameos in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Um, Toxin, wow, he looks cool. Now these are limited edition dudes. So we've got classic, golden classic Iron Man, colored crystal Spider-Man, and glitter sparkle Iron Man. And I remember out of all the series two Ushis I opened up, actually never have I found a limited edition, guys. Not from all the Series 1 Ushis or the Series 2 Ushis. And now I've got Series 3 Ushis. And I bet you again I'll somehow never get any limited edition guys. It makes me cry at night. Okay, now that we're familiar with who we might find, let's see who's going to be in this third Ushis egg. Now, I'll take up the top. Oh, I think I recognize this one. It is, see him there, Spider-Man 2099. Awesome. Now here we have future Spider-Man, which is Spider-Man 2099. Now this guy, instead of being Peter Parker, his name is Miguel O'Hara and he's a geneticist living in New York way in the future in the year 2099. And what he has been trying to do is create a kind of um, a toxin that he could inject into someone which would give them the same powers as Sp uh, not, yeah, Spider-Man, not Superman, Spider-Man. Um, but the problem is when he does it to himself, he doesn't quite get it right and he ends up taking on a lot more spider characteristics than the original Spider-Man. So in this case, like his face gets all creepy and he gets long, like uh, sharp teeth out, uh, fangs <laughs> coming out of his mouth. So he can never talk correctly because he's got these big teeth, um, but he can also bite people and his venom in his teeth paralyzes like foes, which is really awesome. Um, so he's like a much creepier version of Spider-Man. And his suit is pretty cool because it kind of like lets you know that he is creepier than Spider-Man because instead of the like friendly blue and red colors, he's a much darker blue and a darker red and he's kind of got the pattern on his chest. Like instead of it being a friendly spider looking spider on his chest, it's the um, death orb I think it's called. There's a type of spider where it has a skull on its back or its abdomen. Um, and that's what this spider looks like. So it's kind of warning people that he's a venomous, bad, evil Spider-Man. Okay, now it's time to open up our mystery bag. Now it's no longer a bag, it's more like a mystery box. These used to be those foil sealed bags, but like, as I mentioned, they now come in a cool display box. And to open it up, you just pull back the side and take off the lid. And uh, one other thing too, before I display who's in it, is that you can see there from those slots that it's meant to be, if you have a ton of these, you can connect them all together and it'll be awesome. Now, who do we have inside? It is Classic Black Bolt. That's really cool. Okay, let's check him out. Now, here we have the leader of the Inhumans and his name is Black Bolt. Now, I didn't know until researching for this video that Black Bolt is insanely strong. Like, um, he has the ability to, like, his voice can destroy things. So, if he whispers, he's powerful enough to destroy a city just with a whisper. Or there's a movie where he, um, I don't know if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but uh, the main guy flies around in a big giant spaceship. Um, well, Black Bolt destroys that spaceship just by whispering in its direction. Like, that's how powerful he is. And he can apparently destroy a world just by speaking at normal volume. 
Um, so if he shouted, who knows what he could do, but he is insanely powerful. And uh, looking at his suit, um, you can see it's pretty ordinary, just blue with light blue and some streaks everywhere, but the most important thing is the tuning fork on his forehead. Like it looks like the letter Y in this, on this Ushi, but it's a tuning fork, and what it does, it lets him direct his abilities. So instead of like whispering and destroying everything around him, he can instead whisper and through this tuning fork, he can direct it in a particular direction or in a particular way of delivery, means of delivery, um, to destroy someone. Now there's no time to lose. Which way did the rest of the Power Rangers go with your Ushis? Down there, they went towards a construction site. Great work, well farewell. Hey, you're the Power Rangers, what are you guys doing? Well, we just defeated Goda, so of course, we're doing our victory pose. Well, in fact, it was you three who stole the Ushis, because Goda and Lord Zed had bought those with their own money. He's got to be lying, fellas. We only fight for right and justice and maybe a Triceratops. Quickly, Mary Jane, summon your magical goose powers. Okay, mystical moose, magical goose, transform. Wow, these guys are crazier than a sack full of cats. Quickly, Gary, summon your mackerel fish Omega 3 power. No, you don't. Now go home and I'll return these Ushis. Oh, okay, goodbye. Great, now let's open up these last four Ushis. Okay, now let's make some space. We'll check it there, that's a good spot for it. All right, let's start opening these eggs. Okay, so let's start on this first egg. Okay, now who's gonna be inside? It looks like, I think I see him over there, Commander Rogers, awesome. Now here we have Captain America. Before he became Captain America, he was just a soldier who ended up getting uh, recruited. They did some DNA testing on him and then sent him to go fight in the war. And during that time, he became a commander. So this is where he is, just plain old Commander Rogers, a super soldier fighting in World War II. And it happens before he becomes Captain America, which I don't think was till the end of the war. Now I've never seen this version of Captain America before, but he does look cool, like he's got his own like 1950s haircut and his outfit is, looks more like a fighter pilot than any normal soldier, but it looks really cool with the blue and the brown, uh, he looks awesome. Okay, next egg, we'll open up all the eggs first and then do the um, Marvel blind bag last. Okay, so who's gonna be inside this one? It's a green guy, I think it is. Holographic Swamp Thing! Oh no, Man Thing! Holographic Man Thing! Now here we have Holographic Man Thing! Now he is very creepy because what he is, he lives in the swamp and he's kind of just made up of nature. Like he doesn't really have a solid form so if someone wanted to set him on fire or stab him or whatever, they can't because he just turns into leaves and reforms somewhere else. Uh, which makes him really hard to Fight. I think the only way to beat him is to totally destroy the swamp where he lives and he draws all his powers from. Um, but he, of course he's got superhuman strength, he can be insanely fast when he wants to, he's extremely smart because he's linked to earth so he's very wise and things like that. Um, and like I mentioned he's pretty much immortal as long as you don't destroy the entire swamp region where he lives. Now with these holographic guys it's sometimes hard to describe their features because there's not much you can see because it's all one solid color. Um, but usually a uh, man thing is made up of like just random leaves and sticks and trees and branches and grass. So he's just kind of a combination of those things all mashed together and he looks really cool. Okay now this is the last Ushi egg of this video and then one blind bag after this one. So who's it gonna be? He's got a hat on. It is someone new. You can't see, but he's right up the top. His name is Dum Dum Dugan, or Dum Dum Duggan. But he looks cool. Now here we got Dum Dum Dugan, or Dum Dum Duggan. I don't know how you pronounce it, but he's an officer of S.H.I.E.L.D. and he's one of the most experienced members of Nick Fury's team. And as far as I know, he is second in charge after Nick Fury. So there's been a few times where Nick Fury has to go off and do some Nick Fury business, and Dum Dum Dugan, or Duggan, um, ends up taking over shield while he's away. So he's a very experienced and I know he was a strong man being bef before being recruited into shield He was a circus strong man, so he's really tough looking now about his appearance There's not much to describe except he's got the normal shield uniform on Except he's got a bowler hat on the top of his head and a cool mustache because apparently he's from London So he's kind of got that look going. Okay now our very last one we got an Ushi's bag flying bag 
So let's turn around. So the guys we can find inside that are here. So there's uh, the Punisher, Toxin, Crossbones, all guys I don't know, Shredded Shirt, Hulk, and if we're lucky, we could find Golden Classic Iron Man. So we have to cut this one open with scissors. Did I cut properly? Nope, let's try again. There we go. Now, who's it gonna be? It's a white, someone in white. It is, oh, classic Moon Knight. I mentioned him earlier. Awesome. Now, here we have Moon Knight. Now, again, I didn't know anything about this guy before having to do a bit of research for the, this uh, review. But um, apparently the Moon Knight and the Dark Knight are very, very similar. So Batman and Moon Knight are very similar because they're both normal guys who are super rich and they use gadgets to fight crime. Uh, Moon Knight is a little bit different though because he does have some superhuman powers which comes from um, his strength and his endurance and reflexes are enhanced depending on the phase of the moon. So the fuller the moon there is, the more strength he will have. So if it's a big full moon, he can then lift several hundred pounds and he's extremely strong. But like Batman, he's got a ton of gadgets. Uh, he's probably got a moon cave somewhere and he has a moon copter and angel wing vehicles similar to Batman with his bat wing. And he looks really awesome too. Like I can imagine at nighttime in the moonlight, his costume would look awesome, being very, very black, and then those stark white kind of bits here and there, and the moon on his chest. It'll make him very creepy, like jumping around through the sky with that costume on would be very cool. All right, now Superman did really well recovering all those Ushi eggs, and we've done a good job opening them all up and seeing who's inside. Now, so who did we get? Now, almost all these guys are completely foreign to me, so forgive me if I get the names wrong, but we can see Holographic Ms. Marvel, um, Iron Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man 2099 and then the classic Black Bolt. Now in the second part of the video, Superman found Commander Rogers, Holographic Man-Thing, Dum Dum Dugan and then classic Moon Knight. And don't forget, when it comes time to choosing which videos I do, I usually choose the ones with the most likes. So don't forget, if you want to see more Ushi's Theories 3 being opened up, then click that thumbs up like button. Or if you're new to this channel and want to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos, then don't forget to subscribe. Now all these Ushi Series 3 videos we're doing, I'm putting in their own playlist, which you can find if you click up there. Or if you want to watch some sort of, I know, blind bag battles, you can click there. Or subscribing around there where like Dum Dum Dugan's faces. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you have a great week, you look after yourself, and I will see you next time.